you tell us how you're finding camp so far? Yeah, really, really good to be back in camp. Um, you know, caught up with some of my old teammates uh, and some hopefully some new ones. So, um, you know, everything's going going well. We've all settled in and, and the horses are in great shape. Looking forward to uh, the trip down to Bretagne. And how does it feel to be reunited with your Tokyo 2020 teammates? Yeah, no, it's really good. You know, we've obviously shared some pretty exciting history and, and we're here to try and make some new history and, and prepare as well as we can for Bretagne. And, uh, uh, got a few girls amongst the team now as well, which is great. Um, but yeah, no, it's good to be back amongst the boys. And speaking of history, you and Virgil have a very long, successful history together. This will be your third championships together. Can you tell us a bit about that partnership and you know how you guys share a connection to keep going and have such success at the highest level? Yeah, look, he's, he's an amazing horse. I've, I've had him for a very long period of time and you know, he's obviously very fit and healthy uh, to be doing what he's doing at the, at the level he is at, at his age. Um, he's, he's, very, uh, he's probably a bit like me, a little bit obnoxious, um, but he, he's actually a really nice guy. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't, he likes to think he's in charge all the time and occasionally I have to sort of tell him it's a partnership and it's not all his, his show. But no, he's, he's a lovely, lovely natured animal. Uh, he just keeps improving, he's getting better and better um, and you know, really looking forward to the opportunity of, of seeing what we can do down in Pretoni. And you're really well known for preparing your horses from Australia and coming over and having such success overseas and we've now seen this with other riders you know that have been based with you. So can you, if you could give some advice to any riders looking to stay in Australia and make it to the top level of the sport, what would that be? I think the biggest thing is you need to be realistic on on your own expectations or, or your own experiences um, you know winning an event at home doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win in, in the international stage and uh, look I think for me um, I, I've been over quite a lot so I, I know what to expect when I get here I, I know what I need to have of um, you know what boxes need to have been ticked before I leave um, which is very important that you come over with an open mind of, of what you're actually going to um, be expected or, or what you need to produce to be able to, to get those good results. And I think if you're going to base out of Australia, which I, I encourage um, absolutely, I think the realisation that you need to be at the top of your game. Like if you're going, coming over and, and you're not really dominating back home, it's going to be difficult for you. I'm not saying it's not something you shouldn't do, but uh, I think if you want to come over and be successful, you really need to be uh, really confident in your structures, um, you know, what, what you need to do to produce a good performance and be able to do that consistently. Uh, and then if you can do that, um, you know, coming over, you know, there's still so many things that can go wrong, um, which is only experience. Uh, if you can get some, some advice off people who have done it in the past, then, you know, that's only going to help your journey. Uh, you're here as well with Shanae and Jess, both of whom you've had a big part in uh, supporting their journey. What's it like to be named on a team and have uh, those two here with you? Yeah, no, it's really exciting actually. Uh, like obviously I know them very well. I've spent a few years at home uh, and like for, for Shanae, it's been really good for me having somebody to prepare for a championship with. Um, generally a championship is not, you know, in, in line with other events that we do at home. So. You know, we don't have a stag of you know, a swag of horses getting ready. So to be able to be on the same preparation and 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 also just with our gallops, having other horses to, to be galloping and, and you know challenging challenging each other, you know, <clears throat> really makes it easier to get that fitness levels up. Um, but also having somebody of you know, Shanae's an amazing rider and, and an amazing horse combination really. So to have them, you know, be able to bounce ideas off and see what you know she's doing and. You know, I'm, I'm might be quite old, but I'm I'm still learning. So, um, you know, to to do that uh, with someone else uh, is great. And then to come over and, and see Jess, she's been over for a little while, um, preparing from from over here for the last month or so. Uh, and yeah, like you know, we touched on before. Like she's come over and and learned a few things that I think she'll really improve on going forward. If she gets a chance to to go to Pretoni, she can put into place. If not. I think she's got plans for later in the year and, and you know, they're going to hold her in good stead, you know, knowing what she's, she's brought with her and, and also what she's picked up from her time over here. So, you know, it's been exciting and, and look forward to what they can produce. I think, uh, you know, shanae has got a really good opportunity to, to show the rest of the world how good she can be and, and um, you know, Jess is going to put her best foot forward too. 
uh, when she gets that opportunity.